Welcome to the Wasi 2023. We're going to start and we're going to look at some suggested answers I found online. With the first question, define the term polymerization. Then state three characteristics of equilibrium reaction. And then C, explain briefly why the reaction of dilute sulfuric acid and calcium carbonate stops after some time. Then the D is what is meant by the statement matter is particulate. Name two of the building blocks of matter. The E says explain briefly why a mixture of sodium chloride and ammonium chloride can be separated by sublimation. So, F, see the property of a substance that makes it paramagnetic. See the difference between a pure covalent and an coordinate covalent. Then the gene says, state two assumptions that are made in order to explain the behavior of gases. Then the HI, name the concept of acids and bases that deals with non aqueous systems. Then the HII define an acid and a base under the concept name. So what concept did you mention in I? So define under that concept. Now if you look at the topics over here, you would realize that these are topics I've mentioned in my video where I mentioned the topics that are likely to drop. Definitely chemical equilibrium is there. You have chemical bonds as well. So your faithful acid and base is here, acid base and salt is here. Yes, and then state of matter is also here. And then your nuclear reactions is here, radioactivity, which you will always get. The ice is a sample, a solid sample that does not conduct electric current. The two ways by which it can be made to conduct electric current. Carbon dioxide and then SiO2 are both covalent bonds. Explain why carbon dioxide is a gas while SiO2 is a solid under ordinary conditions. So the B says an element X reacts with bromine to form an ionic compound XBR states with reasons the physical state of XBR at room temperature. Predict two properties of XBR2 other than its physical prop physical state. Then the IVC is still the charge of X. Then the CC states the law of definite proportions. So the CI all volume of stock HCl with percentage purity 36 percent and relative then is 1.18 will be required to prepare two centi two decimeter cube. Of 0.25 mol per dm cube HCl. So iron was added to dilute the triangle to solve its sixth acid. The mixture was warmed gently and the gas was given off. The iron dissolved and a pale green solution was formed. When more iron is added, the reaction eventually stopped and some iron was left. Write the formula for the two ions present in the dilute of its six acid. I state why the mixture had to be warm gently. Ne, I, I, I. What will be observed to indicate that the gas was being given off? Name the gas as hydrogen. Explain why the reaction stopped. What's the name of the salt that gives the solution its green color? And state the method that could be used to separate excess iron from the green solution. Then move on to question three. It has law of constant summation. So our four oxide is formed according to this reaction. State and explain the effects of increase in pressure. Chemical equilibrium here as well. So alpha, equilibrium position of the reaction. Beta says the equilibrium constant of the reaction. Then the III. What would be the effect of an increased temperature? Increasing temperature on the equilibrium position of the reaction. 
B part C is explaining why the production of aluminium may be considered an environmentally friendly process by electrolysis of sodium chloride is not. Explain briefly why an aqueous solution of ion 3 ions when added to sodium trioxocarbonate 4 produces carbon 4 oxide. And the D. A mixture of 8 grams of hydrogen gas and 32 grams of hydrogen has a total pressure of 100 kPa at a specified temperature. Calculate the partial pressure of oxygen. The question 4 says what is bond energy? Instead to use of bond energy values. By looking at the B, it says for complete combustion of one mole of this liberates at 1790 kilojoule of heat. So we have entropy change here, which is a topic mentioned, and we also have another acid in base here again. Then describe briefly what happens when a sample is analyzed with a mass spectrometer. Then we have the D, which is which has to do with solubility, which is the topic I also mentioned. So it's what is meant by the term solubility product constant. It uses the solubility constant and then predicts the molecular structure of this compound. So this is question 5 on radioactivity. So you are told to explain radioactivity. The next part of the question is asking for um, explain the following observations. Uranium and its corresponding plus 2 ion behave the same way in nuclear reactions. State with reasons whether the following statement is true or false. Let's ask about half-life. Is this carbon-14 has a half-life of 5,600 years? Hence, half of it is given, half of a given quantity of carbon-14 would disintegrate in 2,800 years. I thought to explain the following terms, limiting agent and excess reagent. If 6.37 ammonia is allowed to react with 11.4 grams of CO to determine the reactant and determine which reactant will be the limiting reagent. And the C, the last part. The I. Describe briefly how gold will be extracted from it all. one use of gold and still one property of gold that makes it suitable. The use 